thrown a flare at the referee. I've never seen anything like it. Let's see what happens. Welcome to Copenhagen. Here for the match tomorrow, of course. It's Bromby versus Copenhagen, the Copenhagen derby. Really looking forward to that one. So it looks like there's tons to do here. So yeah, let's go and have a look and just see see what's what. So I've come to Sondermarken. It's, it's a really nice park in the middle of Copenhagen, but there's something more interesting going on underneath here it's called the Cisterns. And it's an um, old water reservoir, but they've repurposed it into an art museum where they have exhibitions and events. So yeah, let's go and have a look what's going on down there. Okay, so update. Um, I just went to the office to buy a ticket for the exhibition. I go in there and the girl behind the counter said, oh, have you read anything about this? And to be honest, I haven't. I just thought it was, you know, a sort of um, an art space. She said, basically what you have to do is this exhibition is all done by boat. So I think they turn it into like an underground lake sort of thing. And you have to row yourself around um, the gallery. Um, so yeah, got my ticket. We're going sailing, lads. See, this is just absolutely mad. I'm whispering because you're not supposed to make noise down here. Basically, I'm in this boat, as you can see. Um, it's pitch black down here apart from the odd little bit of light so the camera's not really picking anything up but this is crazy you can sort of just see the water over the edge there's a few exhibits here and there but this is mad And we are back above ground in the land of the living. I've never, never done anything like that before. Downstairs into this underground, well, former reservoir, which normally you can walk around, but they've let it flood again. And you get led to these tiny little boats. I was just in one on my own. And there's a, they give you two oars, but there's also a cable on the side. You weren't actually allowed to speak when you were down there. So I couldn't really say what was going on. And I'm not sure the camera will have picked up most of that because it was so dark. It's absolutely pitch black at times. And then just little exhibits and stuff um, were lit up. There's this sort of eerie music playing. Like I'm not a big guy on art. I don't know a huge amount about it, but um, I'd definitely give that a try if it's here when, if you're in Copenhagen, it was really, really cool. So walking along the front here now, next stop is a famous statue, the Little Mermaid. What football fan doesn't love the Little Mermaid? Pine, a fight, and a Little Mermaid. Anyway, let's go and see what all the fuss is about, eh? There's a lot of people here. I guess if you're being kind, you'd describe it as a little underwhelming. Um, if you're being unkind, you'd say, a bit of rubbish. Weird, I don't really get it. Tons of people here though. I'd rather see that seaplane over there take off. 
get that little pranga around for that. So apparently there's this town, it's a free town, it's called Christiana. It's sort of like a town with no rules. So I'm pretty keen to go and check that out and just see what that's all about. I suspect that it'll be just a load of people smoking a load of weed, but by the sounds of things, you're not allowed to uh, film in there either. So whatever they're up to, it must be good. But let's have a look anyway, and then maybe I'll be able to maybe just get some photos or I don't know. Let's go and just check it out and see what we can do. Well, that was great timing. Got in there uh, during the middle of a police raid. There's police everywhere. You can tell something's going on. Everyone's got the, the hoods up. Loads of police in sort of almost like riot gear. And then a guy comes past, surrounded by four, four police, dragging him out of the place. So pretty much as expected. I was pre-warned before that basically you go in and the first thing you go into is this street. It's called Pusher Street. Just loads of guys just loads of drug dealers loads of them and it's like no photos no cameras no one has the camera out at all had a little look around there obviously it's really hard to get the camera out i basically didn't at all because the last thing i want is this taken off me and um, but then beyond that people live pretty normally in there like houses people have built it's just like a really sort of a sustainable area where it's like a social experiment almost i guess i got the full experience so yeah can't argue with that but it's an interesting place Definitely recommend going there, but I'm absolutely starving now, so food time. People talk about the meatpacking district, which apparently is meant to be really good for food. I walked past there earlier today. It does look really cool, like lots of bars, lots of places to eat, pretty busy. Um, but I've been told about this other place called Banana Joe and apparently does the best burger in Copenhagen. So yeah, let's give that a go. What a shout that place was. The burger was absolutely massive. Perfect, exact thing that you want after a long day walking and exploring in Copenhagen. The guy who owned the place. It's me, Banana Joe, <laughs> my friend Ian from England was an absolute legend. His name was Shoeb. He's actually from Tunisia and he works at the hospital all day and then he opens up um, the burger place at five in the evening and works there till 10 just because he just loves meeting people. He's right character. I should have had the camera on the whole time. Like he's talking about these stories and meeting people and stuff but what a shout that was definitely get yourself in there that was class um, so yeah great end great end to a, a long day but a really really good day yeah the match tomorrow can't wait for that beer in bed i reckon match day then uh, bromby versus copenhagen copenhagen play in the national team stadium in the middle of the city but bromby's uh, sort of like a suburb out to the west so gonna have to get um, a train out there. Don't think it takes too long. About the match, I've heard it's gonna be lively. Ultras, TIFO, that sort of stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. In terms of Danish football, I mean, outside of Denmark, we only really see the domestic clubs in the Champions League. So seen a bit of Copenhagen, a bit of Midgeland. Uh, Bromby, I remember them beating Liverpool back in, in the 90s um, in like the Cup Winners Cup or something but yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what they're all about really let's head to the stadium now anyway outside the stadium early fans are just starting to arrive 
apparently there's um, a big march planned from the station that I got off at. The home fans, there's going to be like banners, pyro, that sort of stuff, and they're going to march down to the stadium. So I'll see if I can catch a bit of that. But um, yeah, it's already looking pretty good. I'm the only person who's not got a beer in the hand, so maybe I should sort that out first. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm stood in between. I think you can see behind me, there's a load of police. So all the, all the riot police there waiting. And then at this top of the hill, that's all the Bromby fans waiting to come down. So uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> So the Ultras have done their thing now, everyone's piling into the stadium, so let's get in there and I reckon they've got a few things planned for inside as well, so looking forward to seeing that.
right then at the airport home time um, I couldn't actually wrap this up straight after the match outside the ground because I somehow got mixed in with all the Copenhagen fans and um, had to walk up to the station with them lots of armed police and obviously they lost so they weren't in the best of spirits unbelievable weekend everything all the people I met were amazing everything we did was amazing and the game loads of goals loads of noise loads of colour um, great fans Copenhagen an unbelievable city so sad to leave but proper adventure and I just can't wait for the next one.